In this episode of Let's Talk Toads, you'll learn why SCN is the most damaging pathogen of soybeans across North America. The soybean cyst nematode, or SCN, is North America's most damaging pathogen of the soybean crop. And there's multiple reasons for its um, designation as the most damaging pathogen. First and foremost is economics. It's certainly in the over a billion dollars, probably uh, multiple billion dollars in yield loss or yield suppression every year. Um, another reason why it is the most damaging pathogen throughout the continent is how widely distributed it is. It's been found in multiple soybean producing provinces in Canada, um, in fact all but one of them, and in every soybean producing state in the United States uh, with the exception of West Virginia. It can live up to 10 years or more in the soil dormant without a host being grown, without soybeans being grown. So it's not as simple as not growing soybeans for a couple years to get rid of soybean cyst nematode. Another major reason why it's so damaging is it's so uh, commonly found. Um, in Iowa, where I work, we've done random surveys funded by the soybean checkoff in the mid-90s, the mid-2000s, and then the middle of the past decade. And every time we found uh, about 70% of the fields in the state of Iowa had soybean cyst nematode. Similar uh, surveys had been done in the state of Illinois and the hit rate was about 80%. And then the final reason is an obvious one and that is that the nematode reproduces and it takes food away from the soybean plant. That's the ultimate reason that yields are reduced and the nematode reproduces very well, particularly in hot, dry soils. And so when you combine all those factors together, it is so persistent, so consistent, and so widely distributed that year in and year out, it is the most damaging uh, yield reducing pathogen of soybeans. And it's something that farmers that grow soybeans throughout the region needs, need to consider. Effective SCN management starts by knowing your numbers. 